It's Sunday and we're here with another breaking news story. Podrick Harrington has said live golfers should be able to play in this year's Ryder Cup. Now this is pretty controversial, right? Because even since the announcement, this has been the question on people's lips. Will players be able to be picked to play in either Team USA or Team Europe if they are live golfers. This is a cracking story and we have his actual statement. So guys, welcome back to a brand new video here on Back 9 Films. This is your home of breaking news stories and this certainly is a cracker for a Sunday. Now, first things first, what do you think on this matter? I want you to sort of take into account what Podrick Harrington says, and I guess my opinion as well, and at the end of the video, once you've sort of weighed up his speech and my opinion, I would love it if you get down in the comments and let me know what you think on this. So, first things first, let's just establish what players would currently be missing out. For Team Europe, we have Sergio Garcia, Ian Poulter, Lee Westwood, Paul Casey, Bert Wiesberger, and Thomas Peters. Now, I know a few of those have renounced their memberships entirely to the European Tour, so there's some murky waters there, but essentially, all of them are live golfers. Now, in terms of Team Europe, I think a lot of those players there, your likes of Garcia, potentially could be a player, but Westwood and Poulter are what you'd call in their transition phase. They are people that you want around the locker room, right? They're people that you want to lean on and go, how do you deal with that situation? How did you deal with this? What did you feel here? Because they have bags of experience. And that's the idea of vice captains. So whether they would play, probably not, but their influence would have a massive impact on the team. Okay, now, Team USA. So first things first, we've got to include Brooks Kepka because he has played his own way into the standings winning the US PGA. But on Team USA's list would be Dustin Johnson, Bryson DeChambeau and Patrick Reed. Definitely three players that I would want in my Ryder Cup squad. Bags of experience, feistiness, Definitely people you want in your squad. Now, based on them there, right? So those players that I mentioned, whether it's Team Europe or Team USA, what players I personally would, in some capacity, include? So I would go, probably not playing. Yes, okay. So I'd have Sergio Garcia playing, in my opinion. I'd have Poulter, possibly playing. But I'd definitely have Lee Westwood around the team. In terms of Team USA, I'd have every single one of them teeing it up this year in Italy. But how do you see them fitting into your team? Would you go, nah, nah, you're not included at all because you're a live golfer? Or would they be somebody you go, mm, you know what, just because how good you are, you're definitely going to have to be included. Now, a few of these decisions are going to be hard for the likes of Luke Donald and Zach Johnson because simply there may be rifts within the camp. There may be civil war between Team Europe players. I mean, Rory said some pretty bad things over the last 6 to 12 months in terms of if you're a live golfer and I'm sure a lot of the players wouldn't really like what some of the other PGA Tour stars have been saying. You've also got to think of the impact, right? The impact of what was announced about two and a half weeks ago. That live golfers, after accepting all their money, are now going to be allowed back next year. I guess it's still murky waters, we don't quite know. But there could be civil unrest there in terms of like, it would maybe affect the four balls, maybe affect the pairings, maybe affect how other people play. And we've had very, very vocal people come out over the last 12 months saying they shouldn't be included. Now, I've made my opinion totally clear at the start of this video and totally clear with everything to do with the Ryder Cup. I just want to see the best players play from day dot. That's all I want to see. And I'm sure as a golf fan, as a golf fan, that is what you want to see too. Like, I want to see that showdown, DJ or Brooks versus Rory. I want to see Patrick Reed take on Rory. I mean, what a match that would be. What a match. Everything that happened at Teagate, everything that's happened during the season, 
those two going up against each other, that would be absolute box office. Okay, so you've heard my opinion, but let's get into what multiple major champion Podrick Harrington has said exactly. So Podrick Harrington said this, I think the Ryder Cup is going to have the live players back. They definitely warrant consideration. They're good players. To suggest they aren't players capable of being in a Ryder Cup player over a live would be silly. A couple of them at this stage are in their last hurrah, but not all of them. Luke's got to pick his best team at the end of the day. So he's sort of got to be in the know, right? He's been in and around the Ryder Cup scene. He's been in and around everything to do with the tour. If he's leaking this information, if he's saying, I think they're going to be included, I'm going to take that as I will not be surprised. And I definitely, definitely, definitely think players that are on Team USA will definitely be included. I know, like I say, the waters are a little bit murky for the likes of Porter and Westwood because of what's happened. But isn't that interesting, right? I think this could be one of the best Ryder Cups to date. Whether that you're looking at in team to team or you're looking at that within the team, it's going to be one heck of a Ryder Cup. So based on all that information, based on what Podrick Harrington said there about Luke's got to just pick his best team, which is what I've been saying from day dot, should live golfers be able to play in the Ryder Cup this year? Come on. Get down in the comments. I would love for you just to put exactly what you're thinking right now. Don't don't worry about what you think. Like Your opinion might be different to mine, but I would love to hear that. So please do put it down in the comments, and I look forward to joining you on another breaking news story, because we bring you them every single day. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and just turn on the bell, which is next to the subscribe button, to never miss a breaking news story.